All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom office, and uh, man, it's been a hell of a day. I actually finished up a small project that I'm going to share with you guys once we get the reloading bench and brass prep section set up. And that includes this right here. I saw this on a YouTube channel. I'm not sure who it was, but man, I'm going to give them all the credit in the world. But this is just a bench grinder. It's a three inch bench grinder that I picked up over at Harbor Freight for like $48, $49. I'm going to put the link down below to. Uh, Amazon. Once we get all this stuff done, because this is another where I bought most of this stuff, then you got the world's finest uh, case trimmer, and then there's this little flex coupler right here. Now, I'm not real happy about that. I'm going to have to trim up the, uh, the drill bit as well as the post here on the grinder to get this to meet up a lot closer. I want to bring that in. And I can't find a rigid coupling like this that goes from 9.5 to uh, 10. And I thought about using uh, some stock shims. Uh, shim stock to go ahead and bring it in. I may do that in the future, but for right now, this guy right here, once it gets shortened up, watch this. Put that on your bench. Just leave that in place. It's quiet. I can go from 3,000 to 10,000 RPMs. Don't think I'm going to need 10,000 RPMs, but look at that, man. That's pretty cool. Compact. Put it on your bench, you, you, and there you go. So anyway, uh, we'll be doing a video about that here in the near future. All right, so what are we talking about? I got an article in the uh, email there from my good friend Victor, and he's telling me about these activists uh, who are urging uh, Biden. I refuse to call him President Biden because, for me, he's anything uh, but a, a president. But uh, in any case, he also <laughs> sent to me this thing about the C CDC director uh, wants the agency to take on firearm violence for the first time in decades. I'm not here about gun control. I'm here about preventing gun violence and gun death. Now, how do they do that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you how they do that. They make everything illegal, pretty much. Uh, they're not going after criminals with guns because that's too hard, but it's so easy to just say, well, we, we just want to do everything we can to keep guns out of hands of, well, everyone. And what does that do? It violates our Second Amendment for everyone. So let's talk about this. The activists urge Biden to bypass Congress okay, and create office on gun violence. So basically what they're doing is they're trying to bypass, uh, well, say, for instance, the ATF. And we'll talk about this further going on. There's a picture of Biden right there. I just can't even stand looking at him, uh, especially late. I think the last thing on his mind is gun control. With Joe Biden's nominee to lead the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives lacking any viable path to confirmation, gun violence survivors and activists are pushing the president to create a White House Office of Gun Violence headed by a cabinet-level aide. So you're going to take somebody like Susan Rice or uh, somebody like, uh, oh my gosh, what in the world is that, Valerie Jarrett, and turn them loose on gun violence. And they, they can do things. In a letter sent to Biden Wednesday, this is Wednesday. That was, what, two days ago, the day before the uh, bombing over there in uh, Afghanistan, who what he should be focusing on. <laughs> Ford advocacy groups complained that his actions, and these, this is how selfish these assholes are, Actions on guns falling significantly short of the promises you yourself made while running for presidency and have not made a priority as 28,000 Americans died from gun violence this year. All right, put in the comments down below what's wrong with that statement. First of all, guy's got a lot on his mind lately because he's been ostracized for this bullshit, this debacle over there in Afghanistan. First of all, God bless those people and God bless the families of those fallen Marines and that corpsman. Absolutely ridiculous. Your administration is hard at work pursuing important priorities from infrastructure reform to reducing disastrous impacts on climate change, according to the letter obtained by Politico. Oh yeah, this is whole thing's by Politico. But the rising gun deaths and the heightened threat of armed political extremists. The hell are they talking about armed political extremists? Have you seen any armed political extremists other than those individuals who are sitting over there in Afghanistan right now called the Taliban? There, I, I don't know what the hell these people are talking Gun violence can no longer be seen as a back burner issue. Against the backdrop of David Chipman's nomination to lead ATF, the groups asked Biden to establish a White House office to be led by an aide who does not need Senate confirmation. So let's take the most anti-gun person we can and put them in that position so they can go after the gun manufacturers, go after gun dealers, you know, these evil gun dealers. 
It wasn't just too long ago. Old Joe Biden said, we're looking after you. We're coming after you, you gun dealers. Again, it's basically anyone with a firearm is an evil individual, and you are a potential criminal. That, and that's the way to see it. House Office of Domestic Climate Policy. Uh, okay, so they also called on Biden to use his political capital. He just, he, he just lost the shitter in political capital, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you gun... Uh, you gun control nuts. Uh, yeah, don't depend on him for much of anything lately. Okay, he's over there crying on the on the on the podium, giving us Bible verses, and and holding a moment of silence. Hold that moment of silence, asshole, when you get everybody home. Right now, all I can see is Taliban. You got ISIS. They got mortars. Those aircraft can be staged up across the flight line, and all they got to do is start dropping mortars in on them. It ain't gonna take a whole lot to light them up. And I guarantee you, before they're out of there, we're going to see something similar to that. They also called on Biden to use his political capital. Okay. Uh, unreal. And there's a picture of David Chipman, and that guy just disgusts me. I don't understand how in the world they even allowed, even the concept that they would even nominate somebody who is far left and pro-gun control. Getting crazy. The group's Guns Down America, March for Our Lives, which formed after Parkland, Florida, uh, Newtown Action Alliance, created in the wake of 2012, and the Survivors Empowered, established in Aurora, Colorado, are seeking a meeting with the White House officials and vowed to continue to push Biden to live up to his campaign promises. I don't know. It sounds like they're the ones being the bully, wouldn't you think? I don't. <laughs> I haven't seen the NRA or Gun Owners of America or Virginia Citizens uh, Defense League up there being invited to the White House to help in uh, deciding what is right and what is wrong, what's too far, what's too f not far enough. These guys are complete bullies, and that's the way that most of the majority of the left act. If you don't agree with them, they're going to label you as an extremist, just like gun-toting uh, political extremists. The president promised bold, hold on, bold action over and over again, but he's really not using all his powers to tackle the issue of gun violence. Zenet Yahya. Deputy Director of March for Our Lives. She's like 16 years old. How can you be a Deputy Director? It sounds like a great title. When he wants to get things done, he does it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I got one example for you. Afghanistan. We've seen the infrastructure proposals, the COVID relief plan. So I think it's really up to him to get things moving. No, what he does is he has a one-way street. He doesn't listen to anybody else. And unfortunately for you guys, that's what you want. Biden promised to address a variety of policies issues early in the presidency, including gun violence and immigration overhaul and police reform. Let's see, he's got a great, uh, what is it, immigration overhaul, allow, opening up the borders. Thank God for the uh, Supreme Court saying, yeah, you can't just let them in anymore. And police reform? But after seven months in office, he's fallen short in those areas as he fights the COVID pandemic. He isn't fought in any, he's in, he is embellishing the COVID pandemic. He's promoting the, the COVID pandemic in an effort to go ahead. Hey, man, this is one more opportunity for mail-in ballots uncontrollable. Oh, yeah. That's all we got to do. If we get one more year of mail-in ballots, that other party, they're fish. <laughs> the president has spoken the need to curb violence many times as president, including the high-profile address to joint session in Congress in April. Yada, yada, yada. The four gun violence groups say that's not enough. The president, they say, needs to push Congress more aggressively to ban assault weapons, high-level capacity magazine, and expand background checks. Reforms he has spoken in favor as, pre as president. Yeah, no. Uh, and support ending the filibuster to allow legislation to more easily pass the evenly divided Senate. Oh, okay, get rid of the filibuster so you can just have a free-for-all. Uh, hell no. But Chipman's nomination is in peril after Senators Angus King, an independent from Maine, and a member of the Democratic caucus signaled to Biden administration that his Democratic colleagues that he is not supportive of the nominee. You can't be supportive of someone who is absolutely on an agenda. King has been under pressure from gun rights groups in his state, including the Sportsman's Alliance of Maine. Oh my God, whatever. You know, okay, so Maine, actually... It's a pretty pro-gun area, okay? A lot of moose up there. I've been there. I've seen it. Deer everywhere. But you know what? You don't need an AR-15 to hunt deer. But you know what? Nobody tells me what gun I need and don't need. 
and elsewhere, Biden's own administration has worked to keep place policies that he himself opposes. All right, whatever. In April, Biden said that ending the fairly broad liability shield that firearms manufacturers enjoy would be one of his first administration top priorities. But on Tuesday, the Department of Justice defended that law in Pennsylvania case. Of course they did. The PLICA, <laughs> that, that law is meant to do nothing if it, to protect these companies. Okay, say for instance, somebody goes out and they're driving a car and they're doing 70 mile an hour in a 35. They accidentally kill a kid. So you're telling me that that family of that child is able to sue Ford because of somebody's illegal actions? These guys are afforded that protection, just like any other organization. Now, if you've got somebody like, I don't know, somebody carrying a P320, just like that guy uh, there in Pennsylvania, and it uh, goes off while it's holstered, well, there's a case. No one's protected by uh, liability, but they are protected by third-person liabilities. There's no way that they can hold a manufacturer uh, responsible for something stupid from a criminal. DOG didn't respond. DOG... <laughs> The DOJ didn't respond to questions as general policy. The department defends federal laws passed by Congress, blah, blah, blah. It is frankly shocking to see this administration reject the advice of the movement to go into court defending this law, which the president claims he wants to see repealed, said Igor Volsky, executive director and advocacy of group called Guns Down America. This isn't the first time they did this. All right, whatever. Okay, so here's the whole deal. You have these four gun organizations, and all they want to do is they want to have Biden bypass Congress, just like they would anyway. They, they, they're trying to bully him into doing this thing and create a czar of gun control. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. If you held on this far in this video, God bless you. Seriously. Uh, don't forget, go to kb32tech.com for any of your cool stuff that you want to buy from the cool retailers that help my company or my, my YouTube channel out. Uh, we're not monetized anymore, and I'm not going back that way, so it's up to you guys. Thank you very much for your help and support. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform, 24-7-4. Freedom is free. was not free. I hope next week to get out and do some shooting, and uh, we got to start prepping up for Memorial 3-Gun. KB32, I'm out. Y'all be good. Boom.